How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play. They call me the Toaster and let's get right into today's episode. So I just wanted to put some final touches on the potion stand that we had made. We made some really good progress, but there are some final touches that I wanted to add. And then we might be able to make our first potion if I have a brown mushroom. Which I do have a brown mushroom. I have a spider eye. And I definitely have sugar downstairs. So we'll be able to make our first potion. It's going to have to be a splash potion. So I'm going to need a gunpowder. And awesome. So let's clean up the inventory a little bit. I'm going to put away some of these blocks. And I'll put the cobble away over here. I should keep one cobble in my inventory. I guess the next thing that I need to build is a garbage because I'm starting to pile up some garbage. Like this iron pick with probably 10 hits left on it. Okay, let's put the glass away. Put some coal. I did want to keep some of the nether stuff because I still want to plan out the floor a little bit more. Look at that. I have one sugar cane in here. Perfect. I don't really need my bow this time. So I'm just going to put that away for now with the arrows, the leads. I definitely need some food. My helmet that needs to go on my head. I don't know why it's not there. Fill my bucket of water. And this, I need the lapis for enchanting, but I'll fix the enchanting room another time. Now is not the time to do that. Two chests go away, nine paper. Paper needs to go downstairs. I definitely don't need that many spruce logs. But I did have a little bit of nether quartz. So maybe I could make that into nether quartz blocks. And I like the I like the look of the nether quartz blocks. I think it's a nice white block. I don't have a ton of it, but I don't really need a lot at this time. But what I did want to do was put some trap doors down. But I don't have nice trap door blocks yet, so I guess I'll just leave that for now. Because ultimately, what should happen is this should be like a waterfall. That kind of makes it look a lot nicer. But in any case, let's just... Oh, and I need to craft a fermented spider eye. Probably bring a crafting table down here. We'll see. If I need it one more time, I'll bring a crafting table down there. Make a fermented spider eye. And let's make a splash potion of weakness so we can start our villager farm and a gunpowder. I need to load it with a blaze rod, of course. I mean, blaze powder, I should say. But I need my blaze. My one and done blaze rod. And let's put that in here. Boom. Look at that. So if you put a hopper pointing downwards into a brewing stand, it actually loads the items in the order that you put them. So first I put the fermented spider eye, and then in the second thing I put the gunpowder. So that's going to load them. As soon as this one's done, it's going to load the gunpowder next. Watch this. Yeah, check that out. So you could just like leave, let that do, and then come back another time. Let's check the grass over here. Has it made good progress? Oh yeah, it's getting a lot closer. It's almost there. We almost have our first sheep farm, or wool farm, I should say. So that's good, making good progress. And yeah, so I guess let's just dig out the floor here, make a nice little floor. So maybe I should put the nether quartz block leading up to it, and then fill in the nether brick everywhere else. So this is a uh, 12 and 12 is 24. So I need 24 slabs. And I need 
10 for the nether quartz. Which is 5, 3. I can make 6. I'll need to make one more. Why is this very difficult? There we go. Oh, because I need one more to actually make that many. Okay, that's okay. And I needed 24, so I basically need 12 of this. And we're going to multiply that by 2. Okay, awesome. Got our slabs there. Very good. So let's see how this is going to look. We'll make a nice white walkway. And the cool thing about slabs is that you can put lighting underneath them. Yeah, I want this thing really well lit. I like when it looks very bright. Because when it comes when it gets dark, it has like a little yellow tint to it. Okay, I guess I really miscalculated that. But that's okay. I'm sure I'll use it in the future. Once I get a little bit more of it. And then I'll just put the nether slabs over here. Yeah, I think this is going to look nice. This is going to look like a nice carpet or a nice walkway leading up to this area. And I could always change the granite to a more nethery type of material like the nether wood. I forget what they're called, but there's the green one and the purple one. Nice. I think that looks pretty good, actually. Nice walkway leading up to that. And of course, my first chunk over here. I am going to have to make this a lot nicer, but we'll leave that project for another time because we got our Splash Potions of Weakness. So let's put these here for when we need them. I have one more water bottle. And if you put a hopper pointing into the side of the brewing stand, it actually loads the water bottles for you. Do you see? This is a really cool, nice way of making this automatic. And actually, there's a third feature. If you put a hopper under the brewing stand, it'll take the water bottles out. But the problem is, you have to wait until everything brews before you take them out. So it gets really complicated with the redstone timing. So I just leave it like this. I think this is simple enough, easy to use. Okay. Awesome. So that's one area of this done. All right, so let's go check on our farms outside. I think I might have to do a little bit of cultivation. I think it's bedtime though, so let me catch some quick Z's. All right. This is, let's see, this should be fully grown by now. I mean, come on. How is it not? <laughs> I have no idea. But I'm still going to farm it. So now that I have a splash potion of weakness, I can cure zombie villagers. So I think the next thing that I need to do is to make a villager farm. So I have a, a really nice design actually posted on my YouTube channel for a really large villager farm that you could trade with 30 villagers. So I think I'm just going to build that one here. The problem with those types of projects is that they could always be improved a little bit. There's always a little bit of extra room. There's always something you could do slightly better, even though I worked on that design for <laughs> a lot longer than I'd like to admit. But ultimately, I just need a way to... First of all, what I'll have to do is clear out like two chunks, a two by two of chunks, because it takes a lot of room. I'm pretty good when it comes to food, and I have a lot of cows here, but I guess maybe I'll just breed, not 37 of them. Uh, I'll do 20, and that way I'll have 10 more cows added to this pit. I think that's pretty fair. And I know there's no more sheep in here because I took them out, so this is just going to be all for the cows. 
and I'll put the extra wheat away. All right. Oh, there are some little sheeps in here. Well, no harm in leaving them there for now. Okay. And some of the trees grew, but I don't need wood at this moment. Oh, but actually what I do need is the acacia wood because I really like the look of the acacia trap doors and doors just in general. So how do you make a trap door out of... Is it just planks? Let's see. I'll gather four because I need four. Four trap doors. And I think if I have four logs, then that should probably be enough. Uh, let's see. So I'll put this here. I'll make that into planks. And then, yeah, there we go. But what is the recipe? Okay, it's six. Just to make two? Okay, so I only needed three. But that's okay. I got four just in case. So let's go put the final touches down on this. So if I do that, am I stuck in here? No. And that's good, because then it can, it's going to open outwards. Like that. Good. And I'll do the same thing on this side. Okay. And now I just need to put the water sources up here. So I guess I'll put one here. Take that one out. Put one here. Awesome, and look at that. Now when it comes time, I could just refill my water bottles over here. But I'll close this for now. And... Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Or should I put them facing inwards? Let's see what that looks like. If I was to do... And have them open the other way. Put them up against the water stream. One like that, and one like that. Oh, I think I have to, yeah, I have to put it like that. That's, okay. Yeah. Actually, I think that looks a little better, because it's more, it makes more sense. It makes more sense. I know it already has holes in it, but I just like the look of it so much, and I think that the, it kind of matches the granite, so I think it looks kind of nice. Not everything has to make sense. <laughs> Many things don't make sense to me. <laughs> so this is just the one element of that. All right, so we finished that. Awesome. So let's see, this has been collecting. Oh yeah, and I also put this away. So I guess I'll just clean up this part of my inventory. And put a lot of these blocks away. So we'll start with the cobble. I need a cobble. Now we'll put the blocks away. So we got andesite, granite, dirt, diorite, sand, obsidian. We'll put the nether stuff away. So I'll go away for the nether stuff. Let's see, we got some more wood over here. And then wooden planks. We got sticks. We got zombie flesh, more coal, clay, seeds. That was from the farm. I forgot to put it away, but that's okay. This wood, it's going to go here. Raw iron, definitely going to smelt that right away. None of them have coal anymore. I literally just put the coal away. Actually, I only need one piece of coal. And I think this one was empty. No, this one. First try, of course. <laughs> uh, what else? We're going to put that away. This, the paper goes downstairs. And the bucket here. So I'm going to put this like that. Our sword. I don't really need the sword now. That's pretty much how I like to keep my hot bar. Oh, is that the, the wandering trader? Yeah, but I don't have emeralds to give them at this time. Okay, good. So now put this away and we'll be ready for the next 
segment, but I think this is a good place to end the video. If you liked it, please leave a like. Please leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. And hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. All right. Have an awesome day. Toaster out.